This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So Lenny's been out for most of the day, so I've had to be recording and playing guitar downstairs today. And it made me think about what is it about the experience that changes so much about being a guitarist between being up in that room and being down in this room. And I figured out that it's probably, I think, the speakers. Now, to demonstrate this point, I don't know if any of you have experimented with playing with headphones. Um, so early on in that video, uh, that's what I was doing. I've got these Mastrop HD650 um, and they're essentially, you know, like Sennheiser, pretty expensive open back headphones. And even, or they might be 58X, something like that. But in any case, they're not cheap headphones, but in general, I find playing through headphones with uh, guitar gear such an unsatisfying experience. And I think it's because we're just too close to the sound, essentially, right? Now, the one exception to this is the Waza Airs. And I think those, for some reason, are super comfortable in the ears. Uh, I use them to block out the sound of these guys as well uh, when needed. Um, so the Waza Airs, I think, are, are an exception to the rule. But aside from that, you know, even expensive kind of open back headphones or moderately expensive, I've not had great experiences with. To that end, I guess the thing that I would recommend and that I use every single day are basic kind of studio monitors, right? So I think lots of people think about maybe using FRFR speakers um, and various different things, you know, so some people really like the head rush stuff, some people really like the power cabs and these sorts of things or the Kemper cabinet. Myself personally, for home use, and unless I was gigging the thing, I would really only go as far as something like a five inch speaker. I use JBL LSR 305s up in the studio and whatever model I'm using with them, they sound great. And that's the thing. The point is for me that I could use any modeler with headphones and probably have a fairly dodgy time. And I'm not sure quite what it is. Maybe it's the feeling of being enclosed. Maybe it's cables running around. Um, Maybe it's a combination of factors. Maybe it's having speakers right up in your ears. I, something about playing through headphones to me is just not very fun at all unless there was at airs. Any modeler that I play through the JBL LSR 305s, which are not expensive studio monitors, by the way, um, I think there are plenty of other options. So leave comments below if you've got your favorite kind of studio monitors. Um, I'm obviously not affiliated with JBL in any way. They're just some that I like and that at the time when I bought them, I heard good things about them. Apparently we were eating Eva's ears. Um, so yeah, that, and that sits basically the hub of my studio is that I've got a Steinberg UR RT4, which is the interface. 
and I plug into that. You know, people ask me this, you know, how do I monitor my stuff? So this is the answer to that. And I use JBL LSR 305s. Those are my studio monitors. So I'm either listening through them as I'm playing or I'm mixing on them and all that sort of stuff. And I don't know if you've ever tried to make presets with headphones or mix stuff with headphones. It's really tricky to get any sense of stuff because it's just, for me, you're too boxed in with this stuff in for, for my experience. So I would really, I would not go down the FRFR route if you're a home player. And I myself personally wouldn't even go down that route if you're gigging live. I've done a video about that. Myself personally, what I'm looking for on stage is something more like the experience of playing through a real guitar speaker. Hence, I bring a real guitar speaker. Um, so, can you get off a rear? Uh, so, yeah. And then at home, some sort of... What are you doing? Stop it. Some sort of studio monitor. So I think KRK make some relatively good speakers. I think Adams... Or Adam... Adams makes some really good speakers. I think, is it Calico? There, there are a few different brands, but that for me is kind of the, the key to this. Because I was playing through Native, Helix Native, um, with my Behringer UMC uh, interface, because I was just recording downstairs. And I thought, what is it that I'm missing here? Then I went out into the car and I brought out an Henriksen Bud, just so that I had some sound in the room. And that instantly feels way better. So even like a small amp, and I think maybe this is exactly what desktop amps are for, right? This kind of home thing where you don't want loads of volume, but you don't want to be sitting with loads of cables around your head either. So something like a Yamaha THR, something like a uh, Katana Air, something like a Vox Audio, even a New X Mighty Amp. These things, I think, this is what they're for, right? That's kind of between space where you don't want something super loud like a real amp but you don't also want to be stuck with headphones. Um, so for me, the LSR 305s, I can mix on them, I can use them with my modelers and all that stuff, but that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at and that's what I use. So I think people have asked me about that quite a bit, so I thought maybe today's the time that I could do a video about that and, you know, while I'm missing it playing down here. But honestly, the Waza Airs do such a great job of just having fun with a guitar that if I'm not having to record and I'm downstairs, I won't even bother to bring stuff downstairs anymore. I'll just stick on the Waza Airs and go for it. Those are great and a really good way to practice, I think, uh, which is not what I necessarily expected when I first bought them, but it is where it's at now. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you use at home? Um, be interested to know your thoughts once I can actually read the comments. Uh, these dogs are being incredibly needy all day. Uh, so that's fun. I'll catch you in another video soon. If you want the presets from the intro that was using the Helix Native, the patches will go up on Gumroad. Cheers for now. Oh, if you've already bought the presets, of course, just use the link to, to get them again, as in you don't have to buy every single time.